Here we are again at UKG 2021. We're at the Redwall Game stand with Tom. Tom. Yep. How are you doing, sir? I'm very well, thank you, mate. Now, some of our viewers will know that we've already taken a look at Six Gun Showdown. Yeah. Uh, slightly yeah. incorrectly. You were learning. <laughs> Let's just say this. Very much learning, not hovering at all. But you learn, and yeah. at the end, you realise it, and that's fine. So why don't you give us the, the, the lowdown on the proper way to play Six so Gun Showdown? So the proper way to play Six Gun Showdown is you choose six cards, you lay them face out in front of you. Now, I demo like this because after three days, my brain has gone goober. And you remember where they are. That's the tricky part on a Sunday morning. I don't know about you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you activate each card by turning it face up. And then your player, opposite player chooses a card and turns it face up. I'll tell you what the different powers are. So the eye is where you're focusing on your opponent. It increases your accuracy of your shot. The other key skill is not that one, it's this one. It's the reach card. That's where your hands are moving towards your pistols to make you quicker on the draw. The third skill for being a good gunslinger is insulting. Ah. Nah, you've got to insult the other player to put them off. And that's this one. It's the, the lips where you're blowing kisses, whatever you can do to distract your opponent put them off and there gets to a point in the game where you think I've got enough bonuses to me enough debuffs to my opponent I think I'm gonna shoot them and at that point you reach for a red card and flip it face up to shoot your opponent and it turns into a game of snap and that's where you were hovering wasn't yeah. it so what you're supposed to do is one-handed turn over and reach across the other person's cards we found that by reaching across it gave the other person a bit of time to actually try and react um, most of the time it works. Yeah. Sometimes people are going, oh look, they've turned over their cards, that's nice, and forget to react, but hey. Um, at this point, if both players have reacted and both have got a red card face up, you compare the speeds with appropriate modifiers. Yeah. You can probably see here a speed of seven would shoot before a speed of four. You'd roll the appropriate colored dice for the character and add that to your accuracy value. Um, an accuracy of two with a one, that's a three, that would be a missed shot. So whilst they're shooting first, they'd be missing first, unfortunately, as well. Whereas the speed of four has an increased accuracy, and that two with a four is the six needed to hit. Right. Everything is based around sixes because I'm a simpleton. Fair enough. <laughs> and that's the core, those are the core skills. There are a few different skills with different characters. For example, the sheriff. He's a grizzled old veteran. He's whole, heard every insult in the book. And he's got lots of these cards. Those are resolve cards. So when someone's trying to distract him, so let's go to um, Desperado. He gets to ignore one discard, distract card ah, for okay. every resolve. But that's mainly unique to him. A few others have one or two. Yep. Lucky Joe has got a number of bluff cards. They're not as good as a straight focus or aim or distract but he can choose at the end. His dice, he's got two automatic hits, which is unique, but he also has an automatic miss, which most other characters don't have. Right, so yeah. what you're gonna do with him is very different to how you're going to play the kid or the sheriff. So you've got to be aware of your own character's strengths and weaknesses. Fair enough. So that's the basic game. That's the but basic you've game. You've got some extra special things that you're working on. I've got well. extra special games. Yeah, well, I cut my teeth as a developer on the tabletop miniatures game Relics. Oh, okay. um, and I think back in 2016, I was here on the Till gaming stand, demoing Relics. And over lockdown, I was having a think and going, I can't play test anything new, but I've got this and I, and I really like miniatures. What can I do? And so got someone, um, Jeff Solomon Sims from Oakbound Studios, he sculpted these for me over the summer. And these were picked up, literally cast on Wednesday. So that's Madame Dooley. So I picked these up from the casters on my way here. They are that brand wow, new and fresh. Okay. Less than five days old, newborn baby miniatures. Um, and I'm adapting how to take the card game, which is the quick and the dead style shootout, if we're gonna use film analogies, yeah. and turned it into gunfight at the OK Corral. And so you'll be able to move your miniatures around a board using your cards to activate powers and shoot. And, it, and with the few play tests I've had so far, it's working well as a Excellent. concept. So okay. it's not a bloated miniatures game. Literally, you just need a handful, you know, two to four to six miniatures per side. Works really well on a two foot by 
two foot table yeah. and all you need is miniatures and cards and that's it. Awesome. Well, if people want to know more about the game, where should they go? So they should have a look for us at redwellgames.com or on our Twitter or Facebook. Um, this should be coming out later on this year on Kickstarter, just for the miniatures. Yep. The miniatures, um, the caster is within 45 minutes drive from me, so that's quite an easy guaranteed thing, but I want to make sure I've developed the how to play the miniatures yeah, game yeah, a bit yeah. better before I release anything, because I don't want to release anything half-cooked. Yeah. Are you going to do an all-in pledge for everything? If so what, we'll, what I'm thinking of is £15 for the six miniatures, yeah. and if you bundle it in with um, a game, it'll be 30 quid for the lot. Okay. So a st effectively a starter set will be 30 quid, which is very good value. Awesome. Well, we wish you all the best of luck with that, mate. Thank you kindly, sir. And um, thanks everyone for watching, and uh, we'll Thank see you, you next time. Bye.